Hi guys, this is uh, the sensorless type of BLDC motor speed controller. Now guys, you can see that the packing is good. Let's open it up. The three blue wires that you see are for connecting the PCB to the BLDC motor terminals. The red and black wires are for connecting the circuit board to the battery. You can see guys that the circuit board is really compact and behind the PCBs is the switching transistors or MOSFETs whichever have been used. They have been covered with blue tape so that in case if we connect heat sinks we do not short circuit them. Now this is the direction changer switch for clockwise or anti-clockwise and this is for controlling the speed of the BLDC motors and this is the pin that will be connected to the PCB. Let's strip off the wires. Now these sensorless types of BLDC motor controllers require back EMF from the motor to determine the location of the magnetic poles north or south and produce the rotating magnetic field in accordance to those poles and that's why no external connection wires like in case of the hall sensor type of controllers is required in these types only five wires are there three for connecting the BLDC motor and two for the battery Let's connect the controller. Yeah. Now this is a 750 watts, 48 volts BLDC motor. You might have seen me use this as a generator in a few of my previous videos and it is from an electric rickshaw. Now BLDC motors contain permanent magnets so they can also be used as a generator and that generating part is utilized by this controller board as back EMF to determine uh, the pole location. Now the blue wires are being connected to the three wires of the BLDC motor and remember to keep as much space between the wires as possible. The batteries have still not been connected. You can see that I have given enough space to prevent any short circuit. Now guys you can see there is another slot on the BLDC motor that is coming out from the hall sensors inside the BLDC motor. Although they are not required for the circuit so it does not matter if they are there or not there. Now guys, we know this, it's a 12 volt 7H UPS battery that I'm going to use to run this VLDC motor. Let's measure its voltage first. Pointing towards 20 volts DC mode. And the meter is showing 12.45 volts, which shows enough voltage to run this VLDC motor. Now remember guys, this circuit is rated at 12 to 36 volts and 20 amps so I cannot connect batteries more than 36 volts here positive will be connected to the red and black to the negative it's starting is smooth as you can see yeah At present it is running in the clockwise direction. Now let's reverse the direction to anti-clockwise. Simple and easy. Now guys I'm running this 750 watts BLDC motor without heat sinks attached to the circuit which is not recommended at all.
Now guys, this is a 24 volts, 5 amperes BLDC motor that I'm going to test with this circuit. Now since the motor is 24 volts and I am connecting only 12 volts battery so it is not going to run at its full speed but it will run. You can see the performance is really smooth. Yeah starting torque is also very good. Now let's change its direction of rotation. Yeah, I think it is rotating in the clockwise direction. It is a little bit difficult to determine. But if you look closely, you will understand. You can see that uh, the motor is so small and I am putting load on it and still the speed is not reducing. The torque provided by this circuit, the controller circuit is really good. Now guys, this is the fuse board with 10 amps, 6 amps, 7 amps fuses and it has a metal base beneath it which I am planning on using as the heat sink for this BLDC motor controller. So for that I will have to remove the fuse and its connector. Now it's time to mark the points where I have to drill the holes on the metal plate for installing this controller. Now, now the attachment of heat sink is really important so that I can do full power utilization from this BLDC motor controller which is 500 watts 36 volts 500 watts So guys the holes have been drilled evenly let's connect the PCB now and remember that you don't tight up the nuts and bolts too hard because you are connecting the bolts to the PCBs which might bend if it is very tight keep it loose and even on all sides So the PCB has been mounted to the sink perfectly. Now let's connect the pin. Yeah. 
this metal piece is the one I'm going to use to connect the controlling knob and the direction changer switch now the controlling knob was not getting connected to that metal piece so I had to remove this little piece from the controlling knob which you may remove or you may not remove it is not that important yeah and now the hole is not big enough for the controlling knob to go through Now guys, as you can see, everything has been installed nice and smooth. Now it's time to test or put a full load on this circuit because it is getting proper heat dissipation and everything is mounted just perfectly. Turning the knob right, we get high speed and to the left we get low speed yeah and when we move the switch upwards it is anti-clockwise and down it is clockwise for the BLDC motor rotation now let's test this 750 watts BLDC motor with this 7 h battery now guys there is one very important thing never change the direction of rotation in the running state like from clockwise in the running state to anti-clockwise by changing the switch first slow down to speed 0 and then change the direction and then start from 0 again that's the best way changing the direction in the middle is bringing your PCB to maximum load and your batteries as well Now guys here I am doing full power testing with a very big battery pack. At present I have connected two UPS batteries together to run this 24 volts PLDC motor. The batteries have been connected in series to get 24 volts output voltage. Yeah that's just a closer view. Yeah, changing the direction. Yeah, now it is running at full speed. The RPM should be somewhere around a 2500.
Now let's test this bigger motor. The batteries have been connected in the 36 volts voltage mode, which is the full load for the circuit. Positive has been connected to the positive. Now I have to connect the negative. I have removed the series connected switch in between. So guys, if you have liked this video, support my channel by simply hitting that subscribe button. Link to buy this product has been provided in the description. So guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. Please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you.